Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple DC drill, DC power drill with a control unit, speed control unit. I have used this kind of project box, a plastic box as the housing of the speed control. I have used a 12 volt motor as a power drill and you can see here different types of switches this is a momentary switch and a push button on off switch fuses and the battery connector or the terminal this is the circuit board designed for the speed control unit on a dot render board this is the IC sorry the MOSFET which is used for the speed control unit it's based, the speed control unit is based on a MOSFET you need a very good heat sink and try to include a diode here I have used 407 as a protection for the MOSFET to prevent the uh, back EMF and the polarity changes I have used the ZN44 MOSFET and be careful to protect the MOSFET by using mica washers and screw washers you can see here. You can place, you can put some holes like this for the control knobs. Either you can use a drill, or you can use some heating devices to drill the holes you can use a 12 volt battery as a power source here I have used a 12 volt DC motor so this is a as I said before this is a DC hand power drill with a control unit a separate control unit this is the check of the drill with a you can insert the tips working tips with the help of a key we can also use keyless checks different types are available you can buy you can purchase through online you can purchase online connecting the chuck to the motor shank or shaft is a little bit tricky process I have used some putty called M seal to connect it when it's set you can apply a little bit heat to accelerate its setting when it's set a little bit you can then rotate it so it acts as a centrifugal force to get a center position it's very important otherwise it will wobble on motion so you cannot use for the purpose of sanding or precision works and the tip will get damaged easily if it wobble it's a rotate in eccentric position I have used I got a chuck uh, this is the chuck I have used you can see the 
uh, number. I purchased it for 150 Indian rupees. And you can use a PVC pipe like this to make the handle of the you can easily insert the motor inside this PVC pipe, this one and a half, one quarter inch PVC pipe. This is the housing fitted with the uh, knobs, controls. There are two fuses here, you can see. One for the protection of a motor, the other for the power control. This is a momentary switch. This is the on off toggle switch. This is a terminals for the battery connection, battery connectors. Now the board is connected. You can see the brass screws and washers. If you want, you can give external heat sinks. There is a portion for that. Now connecting the wires. Now the wiring is finished. This is the inside of the DC unit. This is the finished handle, DC power handle with the base unit or the speed adjusting control. Connecting to a 12 volt battery. Let me turn it on. Let's see how it works. I have two switches here one for pulse mode, other for regular use. 
this uh, speed adjust you know it works flawlessly you can see here can mount any device any bits at its tip for sanding and grinding purposes the shank of the bit is not a problem because the chuck is chuck and I can mount any type of with different shank sizes tips to the handrail. That's the main advantage of this type of homemade handrail. This a pulse mode. Thank you for watching.